Here we are. We're washed up on yet another beach, and we're about to make a journey somewhere uh, to see what we can get into. So right now we've got a poem, um, we've got a sentence, some ink, feather, a book, our ring, the smelly flower, a mint, uh, a rabbit's foot, and our map. Um, I think the dwarves are probably our next challenge. So we know we can get past the smelling one with the flower. If there's a taste one, the mint might work. The sound one may be the sentence because it's silent, but it looks like we're talking, but they don't hear anything. Um, although we might need that flute or maybe even still the wind up nightingale. Um, if there's a touch one, I guess the feather would probably be the best bet. So we might actually have what we need to get past the senses uh, with the dwarves. So I'm going to go try that because I honestly have no idea what else to Alexander try Alexander right pulls out his magic map. Here we go. Here we go. So Isle of Wonder. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. How handy would this map be in real life? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first item, which is the flower. Alexander hears someone coming. I hear scars of the aisle we be. Control. All right. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tub troll, I... Listen. The wear sentence. Alexander holds the item out for the gnome with the immense ears. My ears can hear nothing so clear as the sound of a man standing here. A man, a man, so sad ears. We dead. shall send him to his beer. So he's touch, obviously. I guess the fat one is taste. Ugh, really? What's the other sense? The gnomes. There are five gnomes, right? What's the fifth sense? Don't make any jokes. <laughs> um, well, we died. We're used to it at this point. Tickets. Oh. Next. Da -da. Guess those gnomes could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're funny. You're funny, man. I don't think there's anything else we can do as far as hearing goes to fool this guy. Um, I don't think we can do anything with ink either. That won't complete the sentence. <laughs> Is it supposed to be complete? Can't use it on anything, can Why we? Why would Alexander want to do that to the love poem? I don't know. I'm just trying stuff right now. Alexander rubs the object against the rabbit's foot, hoping it will spread good luck. Okay. Can we use the sentence on the poem? Why would Alexander want to do that to the love poem? I don't know. We'll sp spice it up a little bit, man. All right, well, let's just get out of here. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Hmm. feel like we've explored the Isle of the Crown fully. Um, something may have changed since we've gone up the Isle of the Sacred Mountain or some time has passed or maybe it's just randomized. I'm not sure what that could be. Uh, as far as I know, we don't have anything we can trade to the pawn shop person to get um, any items there. I think the flute or the nightingale would be good. And we'd be able to use that uh, to get past the sound dwarf, but don't know how to get it. I'll wonder where we're stuck at. We can't go anywhere else. There's nothing else I could see to do. So that's kind of a nothing. 
Isle of the Beast, we didn't find anything, but let's just take a quick look back at it. Again. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. So we'll wander around for a bit. We'll see what we can get into. Um, everything here looks to be non-interactive. The denseness of the forest makes it inadvisable to stray from the path. Yeah. To take the path, Alexander need only walk on it. Yeah, okay. Well, let's take a journey back to the boiling water. Can I grab that rabbit? Grab that rabbit, yo. Alexander would look pretty silly diving for that rabbit. There's no way he could catch it with his hands. Hmm. I wonder if we're supposed to catch that rabbit. I know we're gonna die if we cross here. But there's nothing I have that the ink clips. That would have no effect on the boiling pond. Yeah. What about the rabbit's foot? Maybe it's lucky it'll that would have no effect on the boy. Yeah, nothing. Okay, well, I don't see any way to get past this. I don't think we can climb this tree or nothing. The tall, narrow trees have sparse and relatively small branches on their lower trunks. They don't lend themselves to easy climbing. I like that the game thought about that. It wasn't just like, oh, you have no reason to touch the tree. Alexander, not being an expert on poisonous mushrooms, decides not to take a chance on tasting the local variety. It's not all about taste, man. Just pick it up. Like them berries. You didn't have to eat them. <gasps> the deer. Alexander resists the temptation to pet the fawn, thinking he might frighten it. Is there something I can do with the deer? Dear. Alexander doesn't want to do anything to the path, like destiny, cannot be altered. <laughs> That's cute. Um, well, I think there's nothing we could do here, guys. So we're gonna go back Alexander to Isle of Crown. Pulls out his. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. So if you're watching this video and you've seen people play. Let's plays that know everything. You're probably going, man, this guy sucks. But if you played this game the first time on your own blind, I'd hope you were going through similar situations as I. Um, I definitely have had my experience with puzzle games, and you can get stuck from time to time. Alexander the pushes the plank to one side. Oh, A box works. has been partially buried under sand. I was just going to pick up the plank. I didn't think he'd do anything. I thought he'd say something snarky. Alexander's treasure box lies partially buried in the sand. Oh. It must have washed ashore with the other ship debris. Treasure box, treasure box. Okay. What is that? Alexander takes the coin and leaves the ruined box where it is. Yo, we got a coin? Alexander is carrying a copper coin of Devantry. King Graham graces the front of the coin. Wow, this is great because I think that guy said everything cost a coin at the pawn shop. So, uh, anything Alexander else? Alexander has no use for the ship debris. Is there anything under it? Alexander has no need to carry around large rocks. Awesome, this is great. Um, hmm. Let's go get an item. Maybe we can get past the dwarfs now. Wow, I thought we were going to be wandering this island for a while. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. And just randomly clicking on stuff you haven't clicked on yet. Hey, that's adventure games, man. Try stuff you haven't tried. Start with the most logical. Start with what the objective is, but then branch out from there. I didn't think of that log would do anything. Good day, Prince Alexander. Yeah. Uh, I got a coin for you, sir. I'll take that stuff bear now, please. I have this copper coin. Is it of any value to you at all? Hmm, most interesting. I have never seen a Daventry coin before, but it is copper genuine enough. 
I might even find a buyer who was interested in foreign currency. The items on the front counter are the only things in the store that I can let go for the price of one copper. You may make your choice from there. Alexander looks yes. at the items on the counter to make his selection. Okay. I'm sure we can trade these in back to him. Um, I'm going to get the flute. I'll take the flute. Very well. Your coin is well spent. Remember, this is a pawn shop. I am always willing to take back my own goods in trade. I'll remember. Thank you. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Bum, 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 bum. We're headed back to the beach, back to the Isle of Wander, and we're gonna try these dwarfs again. I don't know if the flute will work, but we will see. Gonna make a save once we get down to the beach before we go. Always got idea to be safe. That way we can come back and just trade the flute out for the nightingale, because that will be my next try. Alright, so I'll save it here and we'll pick up from there. <laughs>